What's up everybody? So if you are not new to this channel, you know that I do not believe in gatekeeping. I want to give you all the information and tools that you need to succeed. So when this company reached out to me and asked me to make this video, I was already on board because it was already on my docket to make this video. So with that being said, we are talking about a program today called Evoto AI. It is a full retouching suite and it does some really, really cool things. So if you haven't heard about Evoto AIs, because they're fairly new, they've been around since 2020. Um, but like I said, it's a full retouching suite. It's a standalone program that stands on its own. So it's not a plugin for like Photoshop or Capture One or Lightroom. It has its own program. So with that being said, we're going to hop right into it. I want to talk about a few things. One being, who is this program for? The other thing we're going to talk about is just some of my favorite features that are included in this program, just because there's so many wonderful things. I really wish I had the time to talk to you about everything, but I do not. That will be a long video. That's just how much stuff that is in this program. So with that being said, we're going to go ahead and hop right to it. All right, so who is Evoto AI for? Full transparency, Evoto did reach out to me for this video. They are sponsoring this video, uh, but I wanna make sure that I let you know that everything that I'm telling you is my honest opinion. I've been using this program for maybe three or four months now, and I do have a very solid opinion on how I feel about it. Who's it for? Uh, I would say if you it, do anything that involves retouching people, uh, then this is honestly the program for you. So maybe you're a professional like me uh, and you wanna save time and money because I do know a lot of photographers that send their, their images off to be retouched because they wanna save time uh, so they can use that time for something else. Or maybe you do events, uh, weddings, things like that where there's just a mass collection of images that you need to get done in a short period of time. Evoto AI is great for that. Or maybe you're the type of person that enjoys taking uh, pictures of people, but you don't really necessarily enjoy the retouching process. Maybe it's too complicated or maybe you just don't have the time to learn. Evoto AI is a great tool to have in your toolbox. I want to head on over to the actual application. We're going to talk about the interface as well as just some of my favorite features that are in this program. Okay, so when you open Evoto, this is basically what you're going to see. Uh, as of today, I am on the newest version of Evoto. Uh, so if you are or if you've been using an older version, you may see a different layout. Uh, but with that being said, let's go ahead and talk about it. This is what you see on the left side. You're going to see your projects. So any projects that you create, they're going to show up here on the left side. And then on the right side in the library tab, you're going to see your presets. Now, we've already in, uh, imported a few photos here to, uh, to talk about. So let's head over to our edit tab. And this is now our interface. We're going to move from left to right and break it down. So on the left side, we have our presets here. Uh, Evoto does include some presets already included, but the cool thing is if you create something that you really enjoy and that you like, you can save your own presets. So hit that plus sign and then you can save whatever settings that you've already uh, made or adjusted. Uh, you also have options to do masking in the history tab. Uh, at the bottom, this is where you're gonna see all of your images. So uh, you see all of your images. You also see a little depictor showing uh, what type of image this is. So this is a raw image uh, because I, earlier I said that this is a standalone application. Um, so I think it would have been very important to be able to support raw images and it does, but you can also import TIFFs and JPEGs as well. If you move over to the right side, this is basically where all the magic is going to happen. So um, I am currently in the color adjustments tab. That's kind of where you're going to start because the color adjustments tab is basically your raw, um, your camera raw uh, tab. So this is where you're going to be able to change your white balance, your tones, like your exposure, contrast, shadows, highlights. Uh, but you also have your curves, HSL, color grading, details. There's a lot of stuff that you can still do in just this tab alone. Now, one thing that Evoto does offer, they offer some AI color adjustments. Uh, and these are basically, they're pretty much filters, but they're more in depth because you can change them as you go. So say for example, if we choose one of these, the luxury texture. So once you apply the luxury texture, that's what it looks like. So here's before, here's after. Say we want to make some adjustments to this. And if you look, there are adjustments that have already been made and that's because of what this AI color adjustments is doing. So I want to warm this image up a little bit. So warm it up, warm it up. Oh, probably right there. I say I can probably come down on the highlights or just the overall exposure uh, in general. And then I don't need as much contrast. So maybe half of that, so five. And then I'm looking at this adjusting the highlights, come down on the whites. And now 
that's a good starting place for me. So that comes from just from using that AI color adjustments and then making some, uh, some adjustments as I go. Now that we've done that, where we're gonna spend most of our time is gonna be in the portrait retouching tab. So if we go to the second tab here, this is where you get to do all of your portrait retouching. So we have everything from blemishes, skin, facial shapes, uh, expression, teeth, all of that's in this area of the program. So let's look at this, blemish removal. So our model doesn't have too many blemishes, but there are a few there. So freckle, uh, freckles and acne is where we start. I usually crank that probably to 100 most times because that gets rid of any like unwanted like acne. Um, but you also have things like face shine. Uh, if we turn this up, you can see uh, the shiny areas of the skin kind of toned down a little bit. And I can actually use that a little bit for this. So let's say about 50%. So what I'm gonna do is, because I, I there's so much that I can, I don't wanna spend 20 minutes just going through retouching. I'm gonna do a quick edit in the portrait retouching tab and then we're gonna come back and talk about it later. I will say that when you're doing the retouching uh, in Evoto, you get to focus on the face and the body separately. I do love that, uh, that you're not making blanket decisions for the entire image. Uh, so now we're gonna move into the body and I don't think there's a lot going on here, but there is one tool that I'm gonna use here and that's just gonna be an armpit touch up. I don't think anything's super bad, but if I move that, you can see that it's basically smoothing, smoothing out that for me. Now, with the skin retouching, my favorite feature is probably the, the dodge and burn, which is called even. Um, I, before I used Evoto, I would use frequency separation for everything. And I didn't do dodge and burn just because it took so long. If you have ever had to dodge and burn an image, you know it takes maybe 20 to 30 minutes to get it just like it, it should. So to be able to just crank this up with one slider, absolutely amazing. Uh, but you do also have the option for frequency separation. So if I, if I zoom in here and if I turn this up, you can see up to 100, it gets, it does its job. But a lot of times I don't need it as much just because of the, of the even tool. Uh, and I think that's amazing. The one thing for me when it comes to retouching, I still want my images to look very much natural. I just want them to look polished. I don't want them to look um, unnecessarily retouched, if that makes sense. Now, the last thing I want to talk about with this particular image is hair. Now, as you can see, there are quite a bit of frizzies and flyaways, which happens, I mean, when you're working with hair, it's never going to be exactly perfect. But here, there's a hair tab and you can do a lot. But the one that I'm going to focus on here is the stray hairs removal. So if we crank this up to 100, look at that. Here, over here on the sides and it's all very much clean and it looks realistic and it saved me so much time. I'm like, honestly, probably one of my, my favorite features of the, the application, it's top tier. You can also smooth the hair, so if you want it to seem just a little bit more polished, you can do that. Give it some shine. This one's, I love this one. The shine really polishes it up. And then I think that would be good as far as retouching. So let's look at just the before and after. So over here on the left side, this is the before, and then here is the after. And it's night and day, it looks amazing. I'm also gonna do one more thing, because I, I like the eyes tab, being able to just come up on the brightness. Uh, lights, give it a little flare at the bottom, and boom. Now, say for example, you have 10 of these images that you need to edit and they basically are very similar to this or they're completely different and you say, hey, I really want to just copy and paste this because if it took you 30 minutes to do one image and you had 10 of these and you have to do each one manually, that's a lot of time. So what I can do now is save myself some time by just copying and I can choose everything that I want to keep so I can keep the AI color adjustments. But in this case, I really just want to keep the retouching. So I'm going to uncheck the AI color adjustments uh, background adjustments uh, and I think yeah we'll leave these two and I'm gonna copy and head over to this one and just paste boom <laughs> when I say that that feature alone saves me so much time uh, and if we zoom in here it looks phenomenal 
while we're here, let's talk about my next favorite feature and really the reason why I picked up this application. On this particular session, the backdrop had just not been painted. The side wall hadn't been painted. So there's a lot of scrapes and it was bothered. So I was spending 15 to 20 minutes just retouching up the floor. This application, if you go to the background tab and go to clean backdrop, when I say it, it almost made me mad that it was so easy to do that, to not have to spend all my time removing scrape after scrape after scrape. And it did it all in just a second. Let's take the settings that we have here and we're going to copy. And now we're going to keep our background adjustments and let's head over to the next image. So this image, I just didn't have enough backdrop. So I needed to widen it out. It wouldn't take me too long to, to widen this out, but it's still taking me maybe three or four minutes. Here, for one, let's copy, uh, paste our settings that we have from the last one. Boom, that's quick. And now we're like, okay, let's figure out the backdrop. Here we see this option here for distraction removals. If I click this, now right off the back, it didn't notice it, but in a Voto fashion, you can click on the drop down and let's do distractions. For this, this last, this next image per se, I want to talk about a couple things. So with this program, you can absolutely focus on one face at a time or one person at a time. So let's zoom in here uh, and we're going to go back to our singular view. And let's say we want to focus on this one. So if we go into portrait retouching, uh, and matter of fact, let me do a quick adjustment here. So let's, okay, good starting point. Let's head back over to the portrait tab. We want to focus on individual in, uh, people. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna click on the individual tab up here at the top, make sure you're in the portrait retouching tab. And now it sees each person one by one. So we're gonna start, you can choose just by clicking. We're gonna start here. And let's just make this real quick. So we're gonna, All right, let's move over to our second model and do her real quick. All right, so let's look at the before and after. So on the left side, this is the before, and then here's the after on the right. And like I say, I was able to focus on each individual one by one. Last thing I wanna show with this particular image is look at the clothing, it's, it's quite a few wrinkles going on here. If you head over to your clothing and accessories tab, you can de-wrinkle some clothing. So let's crank this bad boy all the way up And just look at that, that's crazy. Now say for example, maybe you just wanna get rid of the fine wrinkles. So you wanna keep the deep wrinkles, slide that back. And then you see right here, all those fine little wrinkles, those are gone. So love this. This is one of those things that I just think is absolutely incredible that Evoto is doing. Made that process so easy. This one, I'm just gonna show you one thing because I, it's still in beta. Um, but I think it does such a great job. There is an option to remove tattoos and these are some intricate tattoos. Let's hit this button and see what happens. That's crazy. That is honestly, wow. I don't know what to tell you, like. Took two seconds. So say you've finished all of your images and you're ready to export. So I'm gonna shift, highlight, and then hit export. Now with exporting, uh, here are your options. You, for one, you can export to wherever you want to export them to. Uh, but the big thing is the file format. You can export them as the original format or JPEGs or TIFFs. Now, if you import raw images and you choose to export as original format, you're not gonna get another raw image. You're going to get a JPEG. Uh, I recommend if you are importing as a raw image and you're exporting, I usually export as a TIFF. So if you decide that you wanna come back and make some more edits, uh, you have that, that basically that latitude to do so. Just know, as you export, this is how your credits work. And if I didn't mention earlier, this is a credit-based system, so uh, Evoto doesn't charge you to edit the photo. They only charge you to export the photo. So you can edit as many photos as you want, but you aren't necessarily charged any credits until you export, which I think is great because you can basically apply these settings in real time and when you're ready to uh, export, only export the ones that you want. 
and it's as simple as that. All right, so I hope you enjoyed this overview of the Voto AI. Just a couple things to mention. Like I said earlier, this is a credit-based system. So what that means is you can edit as many images as you would like, uh, but you're not necessarily going to be charged anything until you choose to export those images. Uh, with that being said, the credit system I think is really nice. Uh, some people might say that the, the, the pricing structure is a little bit off-putting, but I think it's, it's fine because honestly, if you're breaking this down um, as, a, as a professional, if I'm sending these images off for someone else to retouch, they're charging me between one to five dollars per image depending on what I'm wanting to do. Um, and if you break this down as far as the credits, you're paying cents for these edits. And I think that is an incredible money saving tool. Uh, if you do find yourself wanting to try Evoto AI, I do have a link below for you to pick it up. You'll get five free credits to download the program, give it a try export it pixel peep because that was the first thing i did when i got it i wanted to see if i was losing any quality with those five free credits and it still looks phenomenal um, now if you do want to purchase additional credits maybe you already have evoto ai and you want additional credits i got you there too there's a coupon available for you below that you can use as well with that being said i thank you guys for watching evoto thank you for sponsoring this video and as always until next time peace